Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to unbox TP-Link Bluetooth 5.0 adapter. So I ordered this from Amazon in the Freedom Sale. So let's open this and see how does it look. So here it is guys, this is how it looks. So this is the TP-Link Bluetooth 5.0 adapter. It can be used for uh, con uh, connecting any Bluetooth headset or keyboard and mouse or any controllers that you have or any Bluetooth speakers to your Windows PC. So it has faster speeds and has good coverage. It supports Windows 11, Windows 10 and Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. It comes with one year warranty. The model number is UB500 and you can see it's additional information so you can connect headsets, uh, speaker, speakers, controllers, printers and mouse and keyboard and various other Bluetooth devices. Let's open this. It comes with an instruction manual on how on how to pair this with your devices. It has a link for the installation driver. This is the actual Bluetooth five point zero adapter. And there it is guys, it's small and nice and golden and black color. So let's plug this into our Windows PC and see how does it sets up. So here we have the PC guys, just plug this in into the USB 3.0. So I've plugged this in and let's see what happens on the system. So as if at the moment I plugged it in, you can see that this Bluetooth icon has appeared. There was no drivers which were been installed. It was automatically installed. So let's open its settings. Here's the Bluetooth settings guys. The Bluetooth is currently switched on, you can see in this system here. So I have an AirPods that I can connect to this. So let's click on add and we'll go to Bluetooth audio. It's currently searching. So I need to first uh, put this AirPod into pairing mode. So let's do that. So it has to first be removed out of its cover. So I'll take this off from behind. I've removed the top case of Rhino Shield and we'll pop the AirPods out with our hands. It's out guys from the Rhino Shield casing. And uh, here's the AirPods, the Apple AirPods for generation. So in order to pair it with the Windows device, first you'll have to press this button here. So I've pressed this button now and this light should be blinking white. That means it's in pairing mode. So let's hold on to it.
let's open this up and press it again nothing on the device yet and it's not even appearing on the windows pc so i'm pressing the button guys yep, it is now blinking white now we look at the windows pc and you can see that it is showing the headphones icon it says charles airpods so let's click on connect on connect guys now and it is uh, connected to the airpods you can see on the right side bottom it's connected and it says connected over here as well so here it is guys it has been connected to the airpods third generation so this is uh, an easy setup guys for the bluetooth adapter So it's been set up very easily and all uh, options have been turn, turned on. There was no in installation of the drivers needed. It is automatically been installed and you'll have no issues with using this device guys. So thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.